Hi there, welcome to my devotion. There's this ancient psalm that's recorded in our Bible as Psalm 34. And scholars have titled the psalm, Taste and See the Lord is Good. And if you think about it, it's a bit of a strange way to title a psalm because God's not visible and you sure can't taste God. And the more I think about it, the more confused I get as to why it was named like this. The other day I went to the optometrist and my mom went to the optometrist with me. And what we did was we had our appointments um, right after each other. And after my mother had been to the optometrist, it was my turn. And when I walked in, the first thing the optometrist told me, she said that your mother's eyes are absolutely amazing. So I said, well, that's great, but um, if her eyes are better than mine, please don't tell her. So we did the whole test, and while we were, or the lady was packing up all her stuff, she turned around and she said to me, oh, as a matter of interest, Craig, your mother's eyes are better than yours. So I just reminded her and said to her, just remember the deal that we made. Hey, don't tell my mother this. And we got outside to the reception area. The first thing the optometrist did was go look for my mother in the reception area to tell my mother that her eyes were better than mine. And I said to the optometrist, I'm going to go look for another doctor. But it was just a joke. But if you think about it, does that mean my mother gets to see God better than I can see God? Because that's all, after all, what the psalmist said, taste and see that God is good. As her eyesight is better, does it mean she can see better? And I don't think so. I think the psalmist is speaking about the state of our heart as opposed to the state of our senses. Taste and see that the Lord is good. To see the Lord is good in the morning is to see the bright morning star and realize how beautiful God looks. To see the sunrise and all the ray of colors now in winter and realize, wow, it's amazing how God looks. When you have your first cup of coffee in the morning, your heart just rejoices and thinks how amazing God is. The fresh bite of an apple and you think amazed how God is. And I think that's what the psalm is speaking about, the state of our heart. I heard a testimony this morning of a lady that said her, her electricity tripped on Friday afternoon. And she tried to phone Eskom to switch the lights back on because it had tripped out of the house into their area. Um, but she only got music. Um, a half an hour, an hour later, someone answered. And by Saturday afternoon, her lights were switched on. Now, to me, that's pretty disastrous. That means you had the whole Saturday without lights. To her, she was worshipping and thanking God um, because she had her lights back on again. And I think that's what the psalmist is talking about. Taste and see that the Lord is good is a state of our heart, a state of our mind. So I think my mother might see God better than I see God, not because of a great eyesight, but because of the state of her heart. So my prayer is and my wish is that each of us may taste and see that God is good all around us, every hour of every day, that we may taste and see God is good in everything we do and everywhere we go. Until we meet again, may you taste and see that God is good.